Hello everybody, it's Joffrey with Good Lawn Care. Hey, it's been pretty snowy and icy. You see the creek is frozen over. Uh, the pond's got a lot of ice on it and it's just been kind of cold outside. I didn't think the creek was this frozen so I thought I'd throw a brick on there and see what it did. Boom, didn't do anything. Couldn't believe that. So I thought, you know what, I gotta get a bigger rock. So I picked this rock up and I throw it on there, see what happens. I thought it'll go through. No, it didn't. I couldn't believe it. But anyway, we had a little bit of snow here. I'd already actually gone over the drive with a shovel, and then it snowed a little bit more while I was out doing some properties. So I just got the backpack out, blew it off. Also, a good way to kind of clean the truck off. And so that's what I went ahead and did. Um, but you'll see a little bit of footage of me with the backpack here. And then I'm going to have a little bit of footage just blowing off with the snow blower and uh wasn't a lot of snow i'd say we had maybe an inch and a half maybe two at the most a lot of blowing again and that seems like we've had some wind recently when we get snow but uh really we've only had two snows um so far this winter that have really amounted to much so uh but it's been very cold here in january and looks like it's going to continue for the rest of the month don't know how it is in your area but uh, hopefully it's a little bit warmer than what we've had. Anyway, sit back here and relax and watch a little snow footage. So here we have the Honda HS720 and uh, not a whole lot of snow here. Like I said, probably an inch and a half to two inches. Um, probably closer to an inch and a half, but thing is when there's not a lot of snow like that, it seems like um, sometimes the snow blower, because there's not enough, It'll pick it up, but it doesn't almost have enough to shoot it through the chute. And it tends to get a little plugged a little easier. But the snow was pretty dry uh, compared to the one we had earlier in the year. And so uh, it does send it through there pretty good, as you can see. Um, part of my problem, I believe, is the fact that uh, my wear bar on my snowblower is pretty wore down. I've had the snowblower for probably about uh oh let's see six years i believe i think since 2016 and then um also the uh, paddles um they're rubber on there and they're wore down a little bit so it's not quite getting down to the pavement like it used to be i need to replace that but um all in all very very reliable snow blower um, it does a good job. Um, it has plenty of power uh, for whatever reason. And I don't know. I've had the same thing maybe with some other Honda stuff. Um, they're reliable engines, but for whatever reason, I have to leave that thing on choke just a little bit. You can't ever really take it off. It'll kind of pop and bang um, when it's just uh, idling right there. But then I put uh, a load on it, like I run it through the snow, and then it runs smooth. I don't really get it, um, and why it does that, I don't know, but uh, anyway, it's been a, a very good snowblower, um, anybody that's looking for just a single stage, um, I recommend it. it, it does a good job, it'll throw the snow pretty far, um, and it's just a reliable machine, it's light, uh, easy to push, and um, it gets through stuff, uh, bigger stuff than you would kind of think now wet snow doesn't always do the greatest but uh no single stage really is probably going to do that great in wet snow um, this here is kind of difficult to uh to do normally i would split something like this in half um the wind was kind of out of the uh northeast of course there's not a whole lot of wind you can see really blowing you don't really see the trees moving a lot but uh, i do have to kind of blow it all to the south um, there's a pond right there and the reason I have to do that is because the garage is kind of over here where I'm taking the video from so it kind of all has to go uh, one direction 
But anyway, I uh, just kind of uh, work my way back and forth. And I uh, definitely want to get it off this driveway um, since it's uh, kind of sloped. And um, actually the sun, it's sloping down going to the uh, northwest. So the sun doesn't hit it real great, um, even though it is on the south side of the garage. But uh, what happens is the uh, doesn't melt off real good. And so I just don't want to get it where uh, it's going to be icy. But uh, anyway, I will uh, stop the talking if you just want to enjoy the footage. Uh, I'll have just some plain footage here for a while of uh, basically this the action of the snowblower. And then I'm going to kind of show you know what it looks like when it's done. All right. Usually I say sit back and enjoy the mow. Uh, sit back and enjoy the snow, I guess. All right. So right here I stopped the snowblower. I'm going to try to get you a view here of what these paddles look like in this wear bar. And uh, kind of hard to tell. I should have tipped it back, but uh, it's kind of worn down. I need to show it, you know, when there's not snow on But you can see the sun just really starting to poke through all of a sudden. And uh, it wasn't really when I was snowblowing, but man, the sun makes such a difference. I mean, it's the middle of January. Um, days are cold, but I got some footage here then how well this melted off um, From just a little bit of Sun up here on the driveway And it's amazing what that Sun can do and the power it's getting the days are getting longer Sun's getting higher in the sky and there we have a little bit of melting action. Look at that. That was all covered That's where I blew it off with the blower. But anyway guys have a good one. We'll see you in the next one. All right. Thanks for watching